from Mexico, from Cancun and after uh, checking out the footage that I've made I decided to make a few different series of videos because I have a lot of videos I realized that I filmed a lot and to edit it in one video it will take some time because right now I'm realizing being with Aisha it's kind of a bit hard and challenging to take out uh, the time to edit all those videos so I decided to make it like separately I would like to catch up really <laughs> quickly what was happening that week actually I started filming a vlog that week a new vlog but then Aisha suddenly got sick and I stopped filming and we were going to the hospital doing tons of uh, uh, analysis like blood analysis, urine tests uh, and all of that because it was the first time when Aisha was really feeling unwell so I was, I was a bit worried and I would stop filming and the, the worst part is like it was happening the week that we decided like a few days before our flight to Mexico it was a last minute trip and we booked it everything last minute and then Aisha got sick so it was a pretty hectic week for us at the end everything was fine with Aisha we made it to the trip and in the next videos you will see the how our vlog started enjoy so these are the essentials that I'm taking for Aisha for the trip to Cancun okay First of all, it's called Bepanten. It's a cream gel that I used since Aisha was born. Like it's really such a good cream that, like, whenever we have a rash or something red, it's like any kind of uh, irritation on the skin. Whenever I put this, it just helps immediately. I don't know how does it work, and I don't know alternatives <clears throat> in English, but. It helps so much like whenever I put this the whatever we had on uh, on her skin it get goes away immediately so another thing we're taking is sunscreen that's a mask that we have to take for her so SPF 50 another thing we're taking is insection repellents and baby lotion with thermometer like you, you don't know, you never know what's gonna happen and when we were on the trip in Argentina um, luckily I have I had one because we got a fever on the last day so I had this and we could check what's going on with her this one is Rinofrin it's uh, drops for her nose whenever she she has a stuffed nose we, I always use with this so to clean her nose and another leg is paracetamol, good to have with us. Here's this SCD, ECD vitamin, her vitamins that we are we have to take daily, but sometimes I forget to give her. Uh, and this is another Chinese like a balm that is really really good for for different kind of things. Whenever if you have um, like a sore throat or like if you're feeling not well you you can put this on your body and it will go away extra thing that i'm taking is her medicine that we our our pediatrician told us to take since what was happening last week so we are just taking just in case the exodol is for the fever if she will have any fever i have to we'll have to give that and this is all it's for me this is like really magical thing that uh, my sister-in-law introduced to me that I never heard about but she knew about this and it's really it's so good for so many things uh, if you have a headache migraines or you're just in general not feeling well you put like this oil you smell this oil or put it in your nose and it's just the pain, the headache, everything goes away. It's like really magical oil. Highly recommend if you can find it. I brought it from China. Um, I think on Amazon there should be. I'm not sure, but highly recommend.
airport we have a 3 a.m. flight right now it's 11 30 we will do it like 20 minutes at the airport -ish. so everything is on time yeah so <laughs> airport right now uh, it was a very busy day like really the since we woke up we did so many things to prepare for the flight like keeping in mind that this trip in general was very last minute but we are very excited <laughs> this person is excited the most <laughs> and me too because I always wanted to go to, the, to Mexico but I've never thought ever that it's gonna happen this soon so thanks to this person no I love you I will keep you posted I'm gonna feel everything I'm gonna show everything because we're excited, I'm excited, everybody's excited. First destination is Bogota. We are on the way to transfer. That was a fast flight, kind of, because we were sleeping most of the time. Mm. Now we have a transfer in one hour. See you soon, Coco. After arriving, we took a bus to get to the beach and it is top tip number one, do not take taxi there. It is not safe and Uber doesn't work there in Cancun. Taxi is a huge business if not monopoly and they charge a fortune or choose hotel with shuttle bus. checked in into our first hotel and we went to look for the food it was always a dream of mine to try real tacos in mexico and that's what we did we went to the restaurant we got some tacos um, and not just
since it is a touristic area please be careful it is easy to get scammed with the bills and any other stuff after food we went for a short walk went to the hotel took a nap and went to the walmart and to eat more tacos up and now we are going to explore the area I did put my sunscreen it's red and red red and we've been just what a few minutes on the sun for the first vlog and I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and it was helpful in some way but in the next videos I will share my opinion and uh, my review on Hotel Ashkaret if you're planning going there you will have to watch the video because it's gonna be an honest review and I'm gonna share a lot of thoughts and a lot of things that I experienced in Mexico and how actually my how actually our trip went and what it was like thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next vlog bye